for the sign of Capricorn. Hello and welcome to my channel. We've got the Three of Cups and it's with the Four of Cups. Now this Three of Cups, it's a beautiful card in the tarot. As you can see, these three people, they're jumping up and they're toasting their wine or champagne in a cup, three of cups. And they're so happy. It's such a great reunion or a great get together that they're so happy they're jumping up. They don't even realize you're about to, you know, fall into a lake or whatever because they don't care. They just, they're just so happy to be together. So... This Three of Cups, it's considered to be a card of reunions, but it could be romantic or in the broadest sense, it could be running back into or meeting up with someone or something that you've been away from for some time. So... It's considered to be a really happy reunion, very upbeat. It can also mean celebration, your own or someone that you care about, such as celebrating maybe a new baby, a wedding, or some type of really happy occasion. Now, it's paired with the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups, as you can see, this man is sitting on the grass, and he's got his head down. And his hand is bleeding. You can't see the blood on his hand. But he's so caught up with, he's so caught up into um, just kind of wishing his life away. He's stuck on wishful thinking. And that's what this card is about. It warns us to remember to pay attention to what is now and to count your many blessings that we each currently experience. And not to worry too much about what could be or what should have happened or what or what you wish it was. Because it's really easy to overlook what we already have in pursuit of what we don't have. So be sure that you're counting your blessings. Don't spend too much time in self-pity or wishing your life away. Because a lot of life has to do with where we put our focus. So it's about putting your focus on things and people in your life that you have to be thankful for. So for the present time coming up towards the end of May, Three of Cups and Four of Cups. So there's some type of happy reunion here. Um, this four, like, I, it, like I said, this, four of, this Three of Cups, I'm sorry, you got two cups here, so they can be confusing. But the Three of Cups, the card at the top above present, um, I'm picking up it's a reunion it's a reunion with a long lost love yeah so there's some regret though because it's with this four of cups some regrets yeah there's a lot of, actually it looks like a lot of deep regret because like I said, this man, he's just stuck in his head and he can't even get up to take care of his hand. And it's bleeding. So there's some deep regrets with this about this return. So we'll clarify these two cards more when we get into the rest of the reading to get a better picture. So for now, we'll come back to these two cards and we'll move on over to how they see you the person that you're dealing with now the person you're dealing with they see you as the six of swords and the will of fortune now the six of swords is a great time for travel yeah any type of travel is good it can also indicate movement a change in where you are inwardly and usually this changes for the better whether it's internal or external. It's about thinking about where you want to be, where you need to, where you should be, where you want to go, where you, where you really want to be. 
Okay, now this six, it shows at least a slight reduction in stress and strain. Things may not be perfect, but they are going to be better than they have been in the recent past. So it's about taking your time to get your head above the water and decide where you're going from here. Even a short break or change of scenery, it's helpful. And just keep in mind, this does not have to cost money. It's about a need for change of scenery. So they see you like the Six of Swords. Any problems that you had, they're solved. They see a recovery with the Six of Swords. Now, they also see you like the Wheel of Fortune. Now, this card, it reminds us that this too shall pass, whether it's good times or bad times, it passes. If suddenly you find yourself sitting on top of the world, keep your perspective as that too, like everything else, changes. So live in the now, count your blessings, and just realize that much of life is outside of your control. But even that's okay. Roll with any changes and think positive. So they see you like the Wheel of Fortune also, transforming. You're in a cycle and there's change. Good fortune is here with the Wheel of Fortune. So with these two cards paired together, Six of Swords, Wheel of Fortune, um, they see you moving into calmer waters, like I said, with recovery. Um, and you're in a cycle where the wheel is turning and there's good fortune there. Now it's paired with, well, let's move on over to how you see them. And then we'll come back to these to recap the whole reading. I'm sorry, I have a lot of distractions here. So if I seem like I'm a bit off, I am. But that's okay, we'll get the full picture at the end of the reading. So for now we'll move over to how you see them. Now you see them like the Three of Wands and the Sun card. So this Three of Wands, you're likely to find that your finances, they're going much better. In fact, this is a month that you could find that your ship has finally come in. And you're likely to be feeling very strong with a good reason. So you may be finally experiencing some important success after you've been through some difficulty. This Three of Wands, it refers to work in an extremely positive way. Even if you don't work outside the home, it means your efforts, they're being seen, appreciated, and well respected. So you see them as looking ahead with growth and expansion. Now, you also see them as a sun card. Sun card, it means that things are going well, really well for you. Um, your finances, they're in good shape. But it doesn't mean that you should lose focus on what is truly important in life because money is probably not very high on the list for some of you. I know for a lot of you it is, for me it is. But this is what the sun card is saying. That this is a good time to socialize, to meet new people, to get out and about. And if you're looking for a new job, this can signify that it's right around the corner. So basically, you see them like the Three of Wands and the Sun card. Like I said, you see them as looking ahead. Their ship has finally come in. Uh, you see them as growing and expanding in a very positive way. You also see them as someone who brings sunshine to your life. Um, this person, they're your bright and happy days. Or you remember bright and happy times with this person. Or you have bright and happy times with them. That's how you see them. So let's take a look at why it's happening. 
So we got the Lover's card and the Queen of Cups. The Lover's card. Ooh, this is a beautiful card in the tarot. Beautiful. This card is associated with the astrological sign of Gemini, the Twins. It's possible that you're feeling ambivalent about a relationship or a situation. So, Lover's card. It usually means that this is the time this time it's likely to bring love in capital letters to the center stage of your life. Now, this is either a new relationship or it could be a powerful rebonding of an old relationship. Either way, you're quite happy about how romance is going and others will notice how you're glowing. This is serious stuff, this lover's card. It could mean even in a new relationship, where you're meeting each other's family and talking about the word forever. So try to share your joy with those around you and who those who need it. Because life will feel really blissful to you. Life will feel really blissful to you now, which is a wonderful thing. And it's paired with the Queen of Cups. Now this is showing a woman. She'll be very helpful to you. This queen reminds us to bring love and compassion to work to home, just all around you. And this is possible even if we work in a factory with objects all day rather than people. So things are probably better in your working world when you get this card. When it comes to love, it indicates a positive outlook about a relationship. Very positive. So why it's happening, the lover's, lover's card. Lover's card, somebody's falling in love. There's some type of coming together, a union here. Yeah. And if you're the type of Capricorns that say, oh, I don't know what you're talking about. I never fall in love. I never meet the one then this is a some type of good opportunity. Some darn good opportunity coming your way with this lover's card. Or you you might just be hit by the love bug. You're falling in love. And this is a deep love, not just a, a fly-by-night love. It's a deep partnership. It's a strength of two. It's a coming together. And because it's with the Queen of Cups, which is beautiful, it's a very nurturing and healing and supportive connection. So that's beautiful for why it's happening. So like I said, I'm, I have a lot of distractions here. So uh, sorry if the reading is kind of all over the place, but I'm going to try to pull it together for you right now so that we can make sense of this. Okay, so basically for the present time, Three of Cups is about reunions, running back into someone that's been away for a long time. So it looks like we got someone from the past, Capricorn. They're trying to come back. They want to make a return. <laughs> and it looks like a happy reunion. It looks like you could be having a really good get together with this person. And you, you two are really happy to see each other. But then, uh, fortunate that Four of Cups is there. It looks like there's some regret. That's what the Four of Cups is about. So, I'm picking up because the Four of Cups is there. Mm. You are your, or the person that you, you are the person that you um, reunited with. It, mm. There's regrets. It looks like it didn't work out. They could be playing aloof, or you could be playing aloof. But maybe the you got together. 
and it was a great get together but then it just didn't work out so there's regret uh, this could be you or your or the person that you reunited with but it looks like it, it there's regret it didn't work out this reunion but you it was a happy coming together but something just didn't it just didn't uh, maybe they didn't meet up to your expectations and but you two were happy to see each other put it that way so then we have they see you they see you this person this past person that you tries to come back they see you you as moving into calmer waters though so there's regret but you too it looks like you kind of go your separate ways but there's no bitter feelings there's no anger looks like you too probably let go any hurt from the past and you just move along in the calmer waters yeah you see these two people there they're together they're not cuddling or anything like that. They're not smooching. <laughs> but they're, they're, they're going somewhere. And they're at peace with each other. So you move on to calmer waters. This is how they see you. And they also see you as having the will of fortune. So they see you going into good fortune. You're moving into good fortune. And the will is turning. The cycle is, is changing. Your cycle, see, your cycle is changing. Um, looks like it's not a bad thing. You two move into calmer waters, and they see you having good fortune, probably somewhere else. Okay, and then you see them as this three. Three of Wands, yeah, the Three of Wands, you see them as looking ahead, they're expanding and they're growing, so they're doing well too, this past person. This is turning into a past person reading. Yeah, so they're looking ahead, you see them as having growth and expansion. And actually they're, yeah, it feels like they're moving along too. So you two are moving along separately. But it's in a good way. There's no grief from the past anymore. You guys released any hurt that you two had. And you see them as... You see this person as adding sunshine to your life. Yeah, so... They made you really happy. Yeah, it was, it was a happy coming together. And look, I'm picking up you got closure. And they got closure. That's what it looks like. But did there, at first there's some regret. Because probably you or your, or the, your past person wanted it to be more. And then you realize that the will is changing. You know. So now we talked about why it's happening. The lover's card... Mm, the lover's card, Capricorn, I'm showing that somebody new is coming in. Yeah, it's going to bring love in big capital letters to the center stage of your life for, for some of you Capricorns, not all of you. Like I said, I know some of you say it never happens, so then it's a good opportunity coming in if it's not love in big capital letters. So... You move on the calmer waters with your per with this past person, and it looks like somebody new has come along, and it's a deep love. It's Gemini, the twins. It could be a twin flame, because it's a union type of of uh, connection here. It's a deep love. It's falling in love. Looks like you could be falling in love, and it's going to be with the Queen of Cups here, very nurturing and healing type of connection yeah very supportive so basically that's what I got for you Capricorn looks like just basically somebody from the past tried to come back uh, it was very 
was very hopeful in the beginning, very happy, thinking that things could work again. But there's regret it didn't work. You move on to calmer waters, the will is turning for good fortune for you, and obviously it did because it looks like you're falling in love with a twin flame or a soulmate that's very healing and nurturing for you. And your person, the past person, they don't do too bad either. Their ship finally comes in, and you realize that this person made you happy at some point in your life. And it could even be now that you release the grief of the past. So, not bad. This is a past person 